Exercise, exercise, and more exercise. I love to exercise, and exercise loves me. Hey guys, it's Coach D of the 23% Challenge, and today you guessed it. That's right, guys. It is day six, exercise day, May 2016. So, today we're going to talk all about exercise day, what it entails, what it means, what are the benefits, what we have to do, <laughs> okay? So without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive right on in. So when and what is exercise day? Well, exercise day is the sixth day of the month. So whether it's May 6th, June 6th, August 6th, November 6th, December 6th, January 6th, it is exercise day, which basically means it's time to exercise. All right. Very, very simple. Now, what is it? What does it mean, guys? Well, exercise day is an opportunity for us to improve our physical wellness. That's right, guys. It's also a day for us to incorporate the DFIT principle. Now, if you are wondering about the DFIT principle, don't worry, I've made a separate video on that principle all by itself. So today, the aim is not to talk about the DFIT principle, it's to talk about exercise day. So if you are inclined, I highly advise you to go ahead, search for the DFIT principle video on this YouTube channel, and I'm sure you will be highly enlightened and you'll love it. Okay, there's a lot of good information there. Continuing on. All right, guys, so what is exercise? Now, the reason why I wanted to bring up this question is because some people confuse exercise with physical activity. Now, as you can see here in the picture, here is a gentleman walking his dog. <laughs> well, guys, this is a perfect example of physical activity. Physical activity simply means that your body is in motion. That's right, guys. Your muscles are pulling on your bones to cause physical movement. That's it. Now, let's talk about how physical activity is different from exercise. Number one, exercise is done with the intent to either improve your health or your current fitness level. So as you can see here, this gentleman who is walking his dog, do you think he's walking his dog to improve his fitness level or his health? Or do you think he's simply taking a dog out for a walk because the dog has to do a number one or number two? Chances are it's to benefit the dog, not him. So therein lies the answer. So walking your dog, guys, for the most part is not exercise. It's just a form of physical activity. Now, there are two other things about exercise that I want to talk about today. Number one, or shall I say number two, exercise is planned. That's right, guys. So what does that mean, Coach D, exercise is planned? Well, let's think about it this way. For me, I love the gym. So I already know that five to six days out of the week, I plan to go to the gym. And when I get there, I know pretty much what I'm going to do. I know if it's leg day, I know if it's chest day, I know if it's back day, arm day, or even shoulders day. That's right. And last but not least, you need to understand that exercise is different from physical activity in that it is organized. Now, for all of my class junkies that are out there, <laughs> my spinning people, my yoga people, my MMA people, my cardio kickboxing people, you don't have to be worried about your workouts being organized. Why? Because the instructor already has the workout organized for you, okay? They tell you what time the class is, you know where the class is located, and then once you get there, all you have to do is follow the instructor. They already have your, 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 your warm-up plan, the exercise session, and your cool down. And if there is stretching involved, they'll they'll also guide you through the stretching process. So if you are at all concerned about whether you are simply engaging in physical activity, 
or if you're exercising, just ask yourself these three questions. Question number one, is my physical activity being done to improve my health and or fitness level? Question number two, is my physical activity planned? And question number three, how organized is my physical activity? So guys, if you can answer those questions with some in-depth answers, then you'll definitely have your own answer. I hope that helps you out. All right, so now let's jump into the benefits of exercise day. Now in previous videos, I've talked about tons of benefits of exercise day. And guys, I'm sure that many of you are already familiar with the benefits of exercise, but today I really want to talk about three of them. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first benefit is that exercise helps with the big four. <laughs> okay, now what are the big four you may be asking? All right, let's talk about it. Diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and cancer. That's right, guys. Exercise has been proven scientifically to either prevent or help manage the big four. Mm -hmm. Next up, exercise increases your libido, meaning your sex drive. Now, let's take a look at this picture. <laughs> OK, as you can see, the gentleman is ready to go. However, the lady is not quite feeling him for whatever reason. Right. Well, fellas, if your girl is like this girl here, or maybe she's complaining about a headache or she's tired, right? Tell her, go exercise. Ladies, if your man doesn't want to put out, <laughs> okay, and you're ready to go, tell him to go exercise. Now, here's the good thing about exercise is that it does help increase your libido, or shall we say your sex drive. Why? Two reasons, it's, and perhaps there are others, but I just want to talk about two reasons. Number one, guys, when you exercise, not only does blood flow go throughout the entire body, but exercise also increases the blood flow in your genital area. That's right, which can easily get you aroused. Now, fellas, I know you know what I'm talking about. And then reason number two is that exercise helps to increase your testosterone levels. That's right. So, fellas, go exercise. Ladies, go exercise. It'll increase your testosterone levels. And guess what? Higher testosterone levels mean that you will become more horny more often. <laughs> and last but not least is our third benefit. Exercise helps you to connect with friends and family. That's right, guys. So for those of us out there who are working out by ourselves and are always wondering, oh, why doesn't my wife or my husband or my boyfriend or my girlfriend exercise with me? You need to encourage them. All right. Because that can help you develop a better relationship with the, your significant other. So please try to encourage people to work out, to exercise with you because it'll help with the big four. It'll help increase their sex drive and it'll help <clears throat> improve your relationships. I hope that helps you out guys. Moving on. So now let's get into the details about exercise day. What does it mean? What do I have to do coach D? <laughs> All right. So step number one, if you do not have a membership, I want to encourage you to go out and get yourself a membership. And yes, I am promoting LA fitness today. Why? Because that's my current gym and they have helped me out in numerous ways. So go out to either one of the major gyms or maybe it's a mom and pa gym that you have guys go out and get a membership. If you want to try the gym out first, then go ahead and get a guest pass. All right. But keep something in mind. Gyms do reserve the right to deny you a guest pass. Maybe you've had a membership with them before. Maybe you've had a guest pass before. If that's your situation, they probably will deny you. So be prepared to sign up. OK. If you already have a gym membership, all right, you always want to do something new and something different for exercise day. Guys, exercise day is not an opportunity for you to simply go to the gym and do what you normally do. Please don't do that. Remember the DFIT principle, right? It helps us get beyond our plateaus and it also enables us to do something new and something different. So 
If you already have a gym membership, then today I want to encourage you to take a class. It could perhaps be a class that's uh, offered at your gym, or maybe you can go to an independent studio. Whatever the case may be, please do it. Now, I give you a list of classes in which you can engage in. So have you ever taken a yoga class? Perhaps not. So take a yoga class. How about an MMA class? Those are always good. Kickboxing class, right? I did that last month. It was amazing. Okay. Spinning classes are always good. Okay. What else we got? Pole dancing classes, Pilates classes, hip hop dancing classes, Zumba class. Oh my God, Zumba. <laughs> We're going to talk about Zumba in a little while. All right. Personal training session. Ladies and gentlemen, let me go over this just very quickly. If your workouts are getting stale and you want to incorporate the DFIT principle into your workout regime, then talk to a trainer. Tell them that Coach D created this DFIT principle and you want to know a little more about it. Guys, most personal trainers will be more than happy to help you out. Now, understand this. Most personal trainers will offer you a free workout session, maybe one, maybe two. Thereafter, they may ask you to perhaps start paying. All right. If you enjoy their attitude, if you like their personality and you like the the potential that's there in order for you to receive help, then go ahead. Pay people for their expertise. Trust me, it'll be well worth your time and money. All right. Or we can take a boot camp class or how about a mix? I'm sorry, a martial arts class. Right. Or, or perhaps maybe a self-defense class. So go out and learn how to kick somebody. All right, more details, more details, more details, okay? Now, please remember, exercise day, the purpose is to perform a different mode of exercise. So me, I'm a gym rat, I love to lift weights. So I'm gonna do something other than lift weights, okay? So for my spinning people, do something other than spinning. For my yoga people, do something other than yoga, okay? And of course, do something you have never ever done before. So let's say that you've done everything in the book, right? Well, have you tried swimming? Go swimming, <laughs> okay? The point of exercise day is to do something that you've never done before so that the body has to readapt to a brand new stimulus. All right, so Coach D, I got it, right? So let's talk about you. What do you do? <laughs> okay, guys, check it out. I did Zumba. That's right. Now, I want you all to say hello to Mariana. All right. Mariana's really cool. Oh my God. I love her, right? She was amazing. And remember, what was it last month? I introduced you guys to Coach Rumi, right? I did the cardio kickboxing class. Well, guys, I did the same thing with Mariana. I got to the class early. Um, I introduced myself. She was pleased to meet me okay and she kept an eye on me throughout the entire workout okay so ladies and gentlemen please take my tips all right if you're going to take a class that you've never taken before always go early at least 10 to 15 minutes that way you can get a good spot in the class plus it'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to the instructor now, I've met two different instructors so far, and they both have been very, very receptive. So guys, if they can receive me, surely they can receive you. So again, I want to say hello to Mariana. She did an amazing job. She also does other classes as well. And guys, look, if you want to go check her out, she's at the LA Fitness that's in Davie. Okay, it's on the corner of Sheridan and Flamingo. Okay, and um, again, great personality, great technique. And again, she kept an eye out on me the entire time. So Mariana, my hat is definitely off to you. Thank you once again. We love you and we appreciate you. All right, so Coach D, what did you learn? That's right. Well, <laughs> let's talk a little more about Zumba. Guys, Zumba, I don't know if it's for me. I mean, I did it <laughs> because I wanted to incorporate the defect principle. But will I do it again? Mm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to say no, but again, I'm not 100% sure. Why? Because it's fast, okay? It's complex and it is very challenging. But I will say this. 
if you are of a Latino or Latina background and you are accustomed to doing uh, Zumba and salsa style dance movements, then Zumba is perfect for you. Okay. My body is a little different. I'm not as flexible as I once was, and I can't quite pick up choreography as quickly as I once could. <laughs> so that's why I found Zuma to be a little challenging. But guess what, guys? Even though it was hard, I stuck with it, which means I kept my eye on the prize. That's right, guys. And after the class was over, Mariana, you know what? She came over to me and she said, you know what? I'm happy that you didn't leave. She noticed that I was having problems. She noticed that I was a little, you know, not well coordinated and was missing some steps and was going right when I should go left and going up when I should go down. But guys, I stuck with it. I kept my eye on the prize. I stayed focused. I did not get distracted, nor was I upset or depressed or angry about not being able to do the steps. I did the best that I could and I and I was there for the entire hour. So guys, if Coach D can keep his eye on the prize, then you most certainly can. All right, tips, tips, and more tips. I gotta help you out, okay? Number one, if you're gonna take a class, pick a class that fits your schedule, okay? So if you wanna go before work or after work, make sure you have enough time. Tip number two, be flexible, have a plan B. You never know, the weather could be bad and so it may be raining or maybe snowing wherever you are in the country or wherever you are in the world. There may be an earthquake, you never know. So always have a backup plan just in case plan A doesn't work out. All right, uh, tip number three, if signing up for a gym membership, do not settle for a guest pass. Make that commitment, okay? Signing up for a guest pass shows absolutely zero commitment. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I have been a salesman at a gym and I did not like it when people got guest passes because all it was was an excuse not to make a commitment. So guys, if your health is important to you, and I hope it is, then go ahead, pay the money, make that commitment, do it today, don't delay. Tip number four. Introduce yourself to the instructor. Again, I did it with Coach Rumi, I did it with Mariana, and again, these people are awesome. They love it when people come up to them and talk to them. So please, introduce yourself, be nice, be loving, okay? Tip number five, give it your all and do not give up. That's right. So think about me, right, Coach D? I was like a fish out of water in that Zumba class, and it was very obvious, <laughs> okay? People were looking at me like, who is this guy and what is he doing? But you know what? I didn't care, <laughs> okay? Because I'm there for me. I'm not there for anybody else. So guys, remember, exercise day is an opportunity for you to do something new, something different, and it's also an opportunity for you to improve or maintain your health and or fitness level. So please give it your all and do not, and I repeat, do not give up no excuses and last but not least tip number six go beast mode that's right guys so what does that mean give it your all be like a beast that's right don't let anybody tell you no don't let anybody tell you don't and don't let anybody tell you to stop you go in and you go ham that's right guys so go in there give it your all be a beast all right Vegan diet reminder, vegan diet, vegan diet. Gotta love being on a vegan diet, right? <laughs> no meat, no animal products, no processed foods, no processed beverages, water only. So check it out. Today, I wanted to remind you guys that the frozen varieties are well accepted. That's right, because remember, if you buy all fresh fruits and fresh uh, 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 vegetables, chances are, some of your top five may go bad, meaning it'll rot sooner rather than later. So if that is your situation, then go ahead and get the frozen options, okay? The frozen options are just as nutritious, if perhaps more than the fresh variety. So go ahead, it's okay to load up on frozen uh, fruits and frozen vegetables, okay? And frozen peas and beans, that's perfectly fine, but remember, Please read the ingredient list. 
make sure that there are no additives and no preservatives. Let me put it to you this way. If the ingredient list says anything on there which you cannot pronounce or you've never heard of it before, don't buy it and definitely don't eat it, okay? The ingredient list should only list the names of your plant foods, all right? I hope that helps you out. Okay, take home message, take home message, take home message. Guys, I want you to get up and get some exercise. This is important, especially for my couples that are out there, right? Whether you are married, um, you got a boyfriend, girlfriend, okay, guys, you got a boyfriend, ladies, you got a girlfriend. It doesn't matter. Coach D does not judge. Coach D does not care. Always remember, this is a judge-free zone. That's right. So if your significant other is a little lax in the bedroom, they don't want to have sex, they don't want to do this, they don't want to do that, tell them to get up and go and let's go exercise together. And probably in a week, maybe two weeks, they'll be ready to go. <laughs> okay. I'm here to help your sex life. <laughs> okay. And of course, let's remember our take home message as always is let's eat well. Let's feel well. Let's think well, let's do well. And ultimately guys, this is very important. Let's be well. This is coach D of the 23% challenge. And I am signing out. Go get some exercise. Love you. Peace.